I'm Dr. Michael Allen, author of the book Receptor-Based Solutions, Functional Neurology Every Doctor Should Know. Here today with my niece Emily and we're talking about the gallant reflex using the hamstrings as an indicator. Hold strong, don't let me push. This is a functionally facilitated hamstring on each side, stroking the lumbar spine just right next to the spine, ipsilateral to the test the hamstring should be functionally inhibited. We're actually stroking just lateral to the lumbar spine, stroking enough to cause stimulation, but not enough to hurt the patient. This is a similar test to the flexor withdrawal reflex in its intensity on the skin. This is a normal response. Further, normal response is to stroke the lumbar spine contralateral to the hamstring and you should get functional facilitation of that hamstring contralateral to the test. That's a normal response. The normal gallant test, the usual use is to have a baby tummy down in the doctor's hand and stroking the lumbar spine on either side should cause the baby to wrinkle up their flank toward the side that's stimulated. That's the normal response. This is a test for brain integrity uh, of the infant uh, to see if they're properly stimulated in their responses. I was at a functional neurologist's office in La Jolla, California, and I was on the table, and he checked my hamstring, functionally facilitated, and he tapped my lumbar spine on the same side as the hamstring, and it was functionally facilitated. And I said, wait a minute, that should be functionally inhibited. He says, no, it should be facilitated. He tapped it again and it was facilitated. The opposite side, same thing, it was facilitated. So we had a discussion on what we would anticipate. So I came back to my office and I applied the information for the next two weeks on every patient that I saw and I found that stroking the lumbar spine caused inhibition ipsilaterally and tapping the lumbar spine caused facilitation ipsilaterally. And I wondered what happens if I tap contralaterally to the hamstring, hold strong, and I found inhibition. So we were both right, it should cause inhibition, but on the opposite side to stimulation. Stimulation of the lumbar spine on the right with a stroking should cause inhibition of that hamstring, but tapping the lumbar spine contralateral to the hamstring should cause inhibition. This is the normal response.